Good job. Woo! Top water bite. Epic. Oh my god, guys. Fish are everywhere. <laughs> you see here? This is his stomach. It's completely full. We have the barracuda filet, which looks absolutely delicious. There's a little bit of problems on the grill there. What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here. And today we are fishing the beautiful inshore mangrove areas of Fort Pierce, Florida. And I got up bright and early this morning. It doesn't look like it anymore, but I've already been fishing for like two hours or something like that. But I was on the water here at sunrise and have been hitting the top water action. It's been absolutely epic. Can't believe I've never gotten up early enough to come hit the top water action inshore, but I'm definitely gonna be doing it again. Um, but yeah, today we are throwing a top water plug, which you guys will see in the video in just a little bit. And we are just targeting um, any inshore species, so jack crevel, snook, redfish, trout, barracudas, um, anything really that bites inshore. Uh, I'm really excited about um, using this top water plug here inshore. I think you guys are really going to like this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for the whole video. Up. Woo! Top water bite. Epic. On the plug. Kind of just being dragged in. Where is it? Ah, oh, it's a little barracuda. Nice. First fish on this plug. Brain early. You guys can see the sunrise over there. Beautiful morning. Here's our cuda. There you go. There's oh, the cuda got hit by something, guys. You see the gash in the cuda? Wow. Okay. There's some other predators out here. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe that, guys. Look at the cuda. Now he's not swimming so well. He got hit by something. That's freaking awesome. What's here, though? What would eat a baby cuda like that? My thoughts would be either a bigger cuda or. I guess a shark could be possible. I just haven't seen any sharks here yet. So, oh man, that was cool. I'll show you guys, here's the plug I'm throwing. It's no secret, they're very popular down here. They are a plum. I forgot exactly what these plugs are called. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. But uh, yeah, super popular and they make a clicking noise when you fish them. And I'll show you real quick how you fish them. So you wanna toss them out. Nice and far. And then it's all the way out there. So what you want to do is reel in steadily and just give it a little like flick flick. You see my rod tip? So what's that doing? That's allowing the bait to go a zigzag pattern. Go so zigzag, zigzag, and it goes back and forth. And when you do that, it makes a clicking noise. So I don't know if you guys could see it out there. I'll show you when you get closer here, but you basically do this at a nice little steady pace. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, now you guys can see the bait. You see how it's just jumping around back and forth in a little zigzag pattern? That drives the fish nuts and that, that little cracking, popping noise is what really attracts them. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna pick up one of these plugs. They are best for early morning, just like we are now, the sunrise top water bite. It's when you wanna be using this and just plug away. Woo, fish on guys. Looks like it'd be a little snook. Oh man. Some blow up on some bait over here. On the top water plug still. Is that a cuda, not a snook? Oh, it's another cuda. Not a snook. Whew. All right, let's get him de-hooked. Not a lot of fun with these kudas, their teeth on a kayak. Gets to be a little sketchy. And the uh, treble hooks and all that kind of stuff. No, we might keep this guy actually. We might keep this guy. Gotta get my measuring tape out. It's a 
barracuda have to be a minimum of 15 inches in order to keep. So we are gonna try to get a measure on this guy. I've never ate barracuda, but I've seen a lot of people eating them recently and apparently are delicious. Now, now the annoying part is I don't have a proper measuring, I do have a proper measuring tape here, but I don't have the one that I have on my other kayak where it's just on the side. So I have to take out the old tape measure on this guy. It needs to be at least 15 inches. So that's zero. Measuring. Right there. Sorry to interrupt the video on you guys really quick, but I just have to talk to you guys about today's video sponsor. Today's sponsor is Livin' Salty. It is myself. If you guys like this video so far, make sure you guys hit the like button and consider subscribing down below. It really helps me out a lot. He is legal, 19 inches, perfect eater size. Since I don't have a very good place to keep this guy, I think I'm just gonna brain him. I think that's probably our best bet. There we go. Brained, bled, and hopefully he doesn't go to chomp at my feet. <laughs> all right guys, let's go catch some more fish. Guys, there is fish all over the place here. It is incredible. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I am not a morning person at all. <laughs> For me to get up early, it's a struggle. I'm not a person that sleeps in super late because I don't like to feel like I'm wasting a day. Like usually my alarm set for anywhere between like eight and nine o'clock. And oh, did you guys see that? It just blew up right in my lure. Oh, he's following it. He's following it. Let's sit. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, I love top water bites so much. So cool. Ah, oh, we didn't get him. All right. Anyway, finish my story here quickly so I don't. So much around. I don't get sidetracked here. I get very, very easily distracted. Um, but I'm not much of a morning person. Like I said, I get up between eight and nine o'clock every morning. And oh my god, guys, fish are everywhere. Um, so I decided this morning I wanted to get up for the sunrise bite. I hear a lot about top water bite on sunrise and stuff. But sunrise is 6:30 right now, and that's kind of hard for me to get up early enough to hit sunrise. I got up at six o'clock this morning to hit it on the kayak here. And let me tell you guys, this is every bit of worth it. This is, I've only landed actually two barracuda here. I had this one and I have a smaller one that I got earlier. But the amount of fish I've seen, I've seen dolphins. I've hooked up, I hooked up into one of the biggest fish I've ever hooked up to here in Fort Pierce, inshore fishing over there by that dock, by that blue boat. It was insane run. I'm sure I got the clip of it for you guys, but this is awesome. This this early morning top water bite is just unbelievable here. So yeah, if you guys don't like getting up early, but you love fishing and you're like, eh, is the morning bite really worth it for intro? Yes, it is guys. Trust me, come on out here, have a good time. Get yourself one of these plugs, hit top water early in the morning. And even if you don't catch a ton of fish, like how I've only caught two barracuda actually landed so far you're gonna have a great time this is this is unbelievable out here it's about 10 o'clock now and it seems like the uh, top water bite and just kind of artificial bite in general has kind of turned off. You can see the sun is pretty far up. So uh, in conclusion here, it seems like it is really true what they say that the top water um, sunrise bite is really good because I mean that was I was getting hookups every like 15 minutes with the top water plug and the fish were splashing everywhere and it kind of turned off now. There's still tons of mullet around, tons of bait. Um, there are the occasional big splashes, but even when I throw my top water plug near them, um, it's not as like before during sunrise, they would, I would throw it anywhere near them and instantly I'd see the fish start running after my plug. Now it's kind of seemed like they're only wanting to hit the live bait and not the artificial, unfortunately. So it is getting a little windy here and if you guys have ever kayak fished without a pedal kayak in the wind, you know it is no fun at all. So I think I'm going to head back to the dock and I will see you guys at the fillet table. Alright guys, we got our barracuda we caught out there on the kayak today. 
nice little 18 inch barracuda now barracudas have a very bad reputation around here for being trash fish and i've never personally eaten a barracuda before but i know the smaller ones are supposed to be the best eating they have to be a minimum of 15 inches so this yeah. one's 18 inches so it's a perfect eater size so we are going to flay this fish how we would any other fish in case you guys don't know how to flay a fish i'll do a little demonstration and like i say whenever i flay a fish i am not the best at flaying fish so take everything i say with a little bit of a grain of salt so we're going to cut make our first slice there then we're going to go all the way down to the backbone there it is then we're going to cut along the edge of that. So we're going to keep following that backbone all the way down. And this is my first time flying a barracuda, so new fish species for the fillet. We're going to take the knife and we're going to poke it through the other side. Cut all the way through the tail. Just like that. So now we're going to come back up, take the knife, like a 45 degree angle and just follow the backbone down. Poke it through the other side. Cut it right off. Now over here is the tricky part. We have the rib cage. So you can either just cut right through the ribs or you can go above them. I usually try to go above them. Now when I caught this fish, I did brain it and bleed it, mostly because I didn't want to get stabbed on the kayak by the gnarly teeth that are on this barracuda, which we can show for you right here. You guys can see some of those gnarly teeth that the barracuda have. Pretty nasty. But that's not what I wanted to get in my hand. Now look at that. We're actually going to take a look at his stomach. You see here? This is his stomach. It's completely full. So we're going to take a look at that to see what he's been eating. All right, if you guys look over here, we have the Barracuda Flay, which looks absolutely delicious, a very nice white color. So what we're gonna do is feel for any bones or anything like that inside of the flay and cut them out. And we're going to be cooking it with the skin actually on the fish. So if you guys look over here, we got the two flays um, done. I just have to get the bones out of it, but this is the stomach of the Barracuda. And I've never done this before and I'm actually really excited. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to see what this barracuda was eating. I have a pretty good idea of what's in it because I was there fishing. I saw the bait, but I've never gotten this opportunity before. So we're going to see what this barracuda has been eating. And if you look at that, that is a whole fish coming out. And that fish is pretty digested right there. It almost looks like a flay. You guys see the bloodline right in the middle? That's pretty interesting right there. But because I know of what it was eating and the size, it's going to be a mullet. They were destroying mullet and you guys might even see some mullet jumping in the background. But that is what this fish was probably eating and it looks about the right size and this thing is very digested and nasty. Actually this is its head right here too. It's got a little indent, you can tell that that's the head. So pretty nasty but that's cool, I've never opened up a fish's stomach before so we'll let that for the uh, scavengers to eat. Like I said we're going to be cooking this fish with the skin on and we're going to be doing it on the grill so I'll see you guys over at the grill. See you. So we have our beautiful white looking barracuda flays right here and what we're going to be doing today is actually something I just saw on another YouTuber that I watched. It's QS Waterman, dibs on bottom, his name is Aaron Young. Yeah so what we're going to be doing is we left the skin on with the scales on and we're going to be putting it right on the grill and we're just going to be doing some simple seasoning on it and it's going to be delicious. So what we're using today is something I never used. It's Chef Paul's Magic Seasoning, Seafood Magic. I think I've heard of this before. I think I've seen other people use it. And uh, just looking to try something different. So we're gonna put some seasoning on this and throw them on the grill, skin side down. All right, there we go. Plenty of seasoning on there. And the grill temperature gauge doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going in skin side down. That's a nice little jump for the camera. <laughs> Just like that, nice sizzle. Gonna close it up, probably check in about five minutes. The fish does not take very long to cook. So we are just going to put a little slab of butter on there. Just to uh, make things better, because butter makes everything better when you're cooking. 
little slab of butter on each one. There you go. But. Fish is done. Cause a little bit of problems on the grill there. Oh, looks like that's gonna break on us. There's one piece. And two pieces. There we go. There we are. That, you guys would never know that that was barracuda if I didn't tell you that. You guys think that are two strips of mahi right there. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna give it a little taste test and it should fall right off the skin. If you guys look right over here, Look at that, it's falling right off the skin. So we're gonna give it a little taste test. Like I said, first time having barracuda right here. Look at that nice white flaky meat. Really good guys. It, you can't taste any fish in this at all. Delicious. That's really good. I'm gonna be keeping these smaller barracudas from now on because they're totally underrated that being said guys that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this barracuda catch clean and cook if you guys did make sure you guys hit that like button and consider subscribing down below it really helps me out a lot and it allows me to keep making videos just like this one for you guys now if you guys enjoyed this video you guys should totally check out this video over here on the left side of the screen where we got into some really nasty thunderstorms when we went offshore fishing all right guys until my next video remember to keep living salty